totally awesome computer. Yeah, guys, it's me, Elf. Elfnet Gaming again, and I have another computer to kind of show you. I've already stripped the guts out of it, but there's a story behind this that's kind of amazing. Um, I don't know if amazing or just really screwed up, but this computer was brought to me for repair. If I couldn't repair it, then we we scrap it for parts, recycle, whatever. <clears throat> and um, well, there's, there's one feature of it is the door opens. You got DVD burner and reader. This looks like a code. This looks like, I don't know what this one is, maybe a Sony or something, I don't know, it does, did have a floppy drive here, which I'll be putting a card reader, a legit card reader, and doing away with that. I'm just going to keep these, I think, I have an IDE uh, PCI card I could put on a motherboard, or just order a board with one of the slots on it. It's got that, it's got this lock where you can lock the door of course with some hot snot I'm in my junky part of their shop too because I run out of room in the other area TV parts <laughs> USB firewire little door definitely needs a dusting here's the inside like I said I've already pulled all the motherboard and everything out I gotta get the IO shield out still Definitely needs a good cleaning and as that side Here's this side uh, very little room for cable management, but whatever Now for the meat of the subject what's come out of it. Well Here's the fans that are in the back oh, right there And I'm using this twist on shrouding and this rat's nest of shit. Um, at least they did use heat shrink tubing <coughs> when they put these makeshift pin headers with the resistor in line for the fans. There's a three position one here, some circuit board header, which you know they make cables you, do, you don't have to make these but I guess back when this was built they didn't have them really available they did have two lighted fans that I cleaned up these are red of course every lighted fan that I come across is red uh, the power supply is interesting and it's a little right is that it has this lip on the end of it it's a NS Spirit Inspire 3 I think this was a 3 what is the wattage of this? 330 watts. It's all the amps. It's got a brass plated uh, fan grill and this fan actually lights up blue and it has a bottom fan as well. I think I may be able to use this though it's only a 20 pin ATX and not a 24 pin. Kind of sad. But it does have the that part. Okay. Um, it has it had these rounded IDE wires that looks like they've gone kind of yellow, or maybe they're supposed to be this color. ATA 133s is also a, a floppy disk uh, version here somewhere. I think this is it here. Yeah, smaller one. It's that. Um, here's your hard drive. Wait, this wasn't the hard drive that was in this one. No. There's the hard drive that was in it right there. It's a WD 1200, 120 gig IDE drive. It was in it. Um, and here's the source of the problem. It's got DDR1 RAM. This has an AMD 
Athlon processor, an old Athlon processor. <coughs> and the source of the problem is, I don't know if it shows up here, but when I plugged it in, this capacitor bulged and blew its load all over the place. It spewed out the magic spoke. All these capacitors, if I feel them, are all bulgy. These are okay. We've got one here that's bulging out. I don't know if it's going to be worth repairing this board. I really don't think so. It might just go straight to the recycler. Um, other good thing about this is this case has drive cages that go right here. Get to the top of the machine without stepping on the cold cathode tubes. It had your data fax modem, of course, and it has this little ATI GPU card, which has DVI and VGA and S video out. Uh, it's an AGP card, so it's it's kind of useless in modern retrospect, but I do have some systems up that could use a better video card that have AGP slots. I might actually use that. And there's the floppy disk and its drive cage. Here's the heat sink processor. It's an old thermal take, purple, AMD, socket 460, whatever that thing is, socket 380 type, 370 rather. Socket 462 or socket 370, I guess, would be the same equivalent to this. The Intel equivalent. This board carries an NVIDIA chipset. And is it a SUS chip on it? Which leads me to believe that this is an ASUS board of some type. Though there is no branding on it. But yeah, it's got your IDE and your your floppy ATX two ID channels. Three slots for RAM, which leans more towards my understanding that these boards with three slots were used for workstations and or servers very low budget stuff um no that could be wrong that's just one thing that i've seen is business computers workstations would have you know those types of things you know three sockets on the ram uh, the case does come with some extra parts for installing uh, drives and things like that are still in it, which is nice. It's all the stud, standard ATX form factor. Looks like it would hold everything. Uh, the side door, my wobbly camera. Here's the side door of the window. I put this fan on it. The fan that was on here was one of those colored ones. Those LED red ones. I didn't like it. I put this on here. And it's got that type of connector. Which is a male, male pin with a female shroud. Which I didn't realize. This came out of a, a different type of system. I just need to clean that grill up too. So I'm going to be changing that or changing the wiring on this. And this also has a key that locks the uh, door. This uh, plastic, it's cracked right here. There's also another crack in it. Where's that other crack at? It's, it's got a couple of little, it's underneath that thing, that purling, that fan grill. It's cracked here, which is prompting me to look into getting this replaced, and <clears throat> what I'm going to do is modify this design of this door, <coughs> and instead of it supporting an 80 mil fan, we're going to move the fan to here and have it support a 120 millimeter fan, and I'm going to have a custom grill put on this. Of course, it will not have this epoxy this rotten epoxy from the velcro whoa on it this is what happens when you put ultraviolet cold cathode or leds in your case and you have uh, velcro holding them down or epoxy which is what these are 
These were basically little black lights that were in here. <clears throat> Which leads me to believe that those cables are black light responsive. Why else have those in there? So yeah, I'm, we're looking at a little bit of money to get it going. Um, this computer may be going to the dishwasher to get all of this out. I'm going to hit it with an air chuck first. See if I can't get the dust out. If I can't, then I'm going to have to give it a good bath and a scrubbing. But this is the project. This is the new project that's, uh, that has bestowed me. Another project I got going on is an XPS laptop repair, but that's just an LCD screen and keyboard replacement, and it's being sent back home. So, I don't know. I might go through that on another video. And, uh, yeah. This is uh, what I'm working on now. now. What I might do, <coughs> I have a board and that computer. <coughs> it's an AMD dual core, just a little, it was a combo set I bought off eBay for about $120 and some change. It's at four gigs of RAM, a processor and a motherboard. I might stick it in this box. It's, it's one of those mic mini boards though I would rather put a full-size board in but I might put it in this box and get it you know have more room to work with I don't know yet um I could go with an Intel an MSI board or a, an ASRock or something in here I would like to build an Intel system up but Intel is just so damn pricey right now just I don't know Pardon the shaky camera. Christ. I'm uh, on it with a cell phone camera. I don't have a tripod for this. And this thing does need a bath, as I said before. And look at the... Look at the dust, encrusted dust on these fans. They gotta come out of these holders and... And be... Cleaned. Now... These are, are not lighted fans, but they are lighted fan grills. If you could look at this real closely, right where my finger's at, where my dirty fingernail is. There's an LED in there. I'm going to assume that it's red. I could change these and continue using these and change them out. It won't be hard to do. Um, and these are made by Thermaltake, apparently. Not the fans, but the uh, covers. And it's got four LEDs that run up in there and light up. So, yeah, and this this was the way you did cable sleeving back in the day before the days of paracord and that nylon stuff that Lutro Customs is using. Um, I might try to turn this into another gaming rig with, you know, all new parts and and things and actually sleeve it properly. And, and what killed this computer? Okay, what killed this computer was this piece of wire right here <coughs> was this thing here. Which runs this inverter for the cold one of the cold cathodes and what had happened was the 12 volt pin had come out of that and I don't know these things just don't fall out but I'm on an inspection and you can't see this because my camera is shit and it won't focus but one of the little little ears that hold it in is bent and it won't stay in and what happened was this touched the side of the case and that is what caused the system to not power up. Also, the age of the motherboard and uh, capacitor swelling up. And yeah, just not a good deal. It needs new capacitors. I could fix the motherboard and get this back to its original state, but it would be completely useless in today's, you know. In today's use it would be you wouldn't be able to do anything with it you would only be able to run maybe Windows XP on it and that's it and there's no longer support for this but what I want to do is get this to Windows 10 even though I absolutely hate Windows 10 with a pink and purple passion 
I want to get it to at least that these standards to where it would accept that maybe put eight gigs of RAM maybe 16 if I'm feeling generous with it on a modern motherboard with a modern processor and putting an R9 or at least an R7 but an R9 or some kind of NVIDIA card maybe a 970 or again if I'm feeling generous a 980 but I don't see throwing that much money into this to support a 980 when I'd rather put a 980 in that one um, <laughs> just saying um, <clears throat> definitely gonna do some LED accent lighting um, I'm not going with the hue system because it's grossly overpriced and just nonsense you know it's made by Philips um, I'm gonna mod this case a little bit probably right in here and put an IR sensor and do the LED lighting within a remote control color changing uh, thing I already have all the parts I just got to use it I have the wrong LED to I need to get 50 50 and not one I have but and I'm also going to do it in that case too cheaper alternative I can't control it in software but I will be able to control it with a remote and uh, see that doesn't go to this computer but yeah that's that's the awesome totally awesome computer is uh what i'm working on there's all the screws i pulled out there's that old dell server i did a video on and this is another one at the bottom that's running as a data recovery network shared machine for the hard drive out of this because the original owner wanted the pictures and things off the hard drive that's all they wanted back so that's why it's on this computer this is just a generic white box uh, it's got HP parts in it. I had to replace that fan. The other one was all wonky. That's why this hard drive's in. It's going through and it's being shared on the network so I can recover off that one. Onto that one. So yeah. And this is our old Dell NAS server. My old NAS that I'm trying to read. I got the RAID battery in. I got everything, you know, set up with it. I just got to get a floppy disk so I can get started on the getting the OS, the RAID configuration done. But yeah, this is a totally awesome computer rebuild. And you know, if you like this type of video, make sure you like it below. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. It actually helps everyone, I guess, at some point. Um, trying to get to the 200 sub mark. You guys can help me do that by hitting the subscribe button. I don't know if I'm going to do any giveaway stuff for that. I'm kind of lacking in the money. I just had to pay property taxes. So, highway robbery, guys. But anyway, that's not the topic of this video, and uh, what's going to become the topic today is getting the vacuum cleaner and the air truck out and cleaning this thing. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm Elf Elfnet Gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.